Today I'm going to be replacing the um, display inverter on my ThinkPad W500 laptop. Now recently what's been happening is when I switch the laptop on the screen doesn't come on at all for at least probably half an hour but you can see the screen's on at the moment because the laptop has been on for a significant amount of time. But also when I sort of press on the bottom bezel what would happen is that the sort of screen would just just like there you go just t come off and there you go you can kind of see there's a slight Windows logo in the background there but it would be very intermittent and after removing the five screws so two at the top and four at the bottom um, I reattach and sort of remove the existing inverter over and over again with no avail you know it's still the screen still didn't properly behave and for a while I got round this by using the VGA port on the side there uh, to hook it up to the displays at school and just basically use this as a desktop PC which worked fairly well but I kind of wanted obviously a proper solution so I went and bought a £5 inverter from eBay and now I'm just going to fit it so I've already removed the plastic inserts on the side and I have them in a sort of on sort of piece of glass which I'll just show you here you can so here you can see the uh, sticking on thing to hide the screws which I just removed with a very sort of sharp tip screwdriver so now I'm just going to undo the screws with a sort of small Phillips screwdriver head and then just snap off the screen surround so once the screws have removed it's just a case of sort of very carefully um, like pulling off the top bezel which is held in by little latches and you've also got to just move the sort of screen latch there but all in all it comes off quite easy but this is fairly thin plastic so you do have to be fairly careful when doing it and also not to try and avoid putting too much pressure on the actual LCD panel below because obviously it will be quite sensitive to the pressure so yeah, you've got to be quite careful here. And there's also found there to be some glue holding it on initially, which made it just a little bit harder to get off. And that's what it looks like with the bezel removed. And you see the inverter across the bottom right here. But also while we're here, you can see the Bluetooth uh, device there. And if we look along here, you might be able to just about see there's a couple of antennas, there's one there, one there, one there and one there to provide the Wi-Fi coverage so it looks like there's four antennas um, so um, two of them definitely look to be 5 gigahertz and two of them look to be 2.4 gigahertz and although this is 3x3 three three, so it probably uses one of them for either direction but there you can see the panel which actually just looks which or you know is is it's quite a good panel, which is why I was keen to replace the inverter on this rather than just write the laptop off. But I just need to switch the laptop off right now, because obviously the inverter will have high voltages in it, and that obviously is not very good for me. So I just put the laptop to sleep, so it'll turn off the display controller, and then we can remove it using the two screws it has. So right, once the inverse is removed, you can see the um, sort of display. You can see the fluorescent connector there, and also the um, inf sort of the information connector from the display. So then I'm just going to get my new inverter and plug it in. So this is this is the inverter that I bought. Um, it's much the same model number and it's got the same sort of part number and all the sort of LEDs are much the same so I'm now just going to fit that in place and see if it sort of fixes the problem and whoopee it works the inverter has managed to run the display straight after putting it to standby which is when it normally just sort of failed completely so that's been a good fix and I think we're just going to have to investigate what caused the old inverter to sort of fail so badly